You know, I just did the math real quick, $11 million. That's like $25,000 a nurse to fight this. I need a nurse now because I'm going to puke. <laughs> I have to apologize. I put this together just a short while ago, so I'm really going to kind of read. But I want to read a quote to you from Martin Luther King Jr. I think it's very appropriate. History is a great teacher. Now everyone knows that the labor movement did not diminish the strength of our nation, but enlarged it. By raising the standards of millions, labor miraculously created a market for industry and lifted the whole nation to levels of production. Those who attack labor forget the simple truths, but history will always remember them. I read that quote today, brothers and sisters, because now is the time for us to remember our history. Our labor family has grown a little bigger with our new brothers and sisters from Bacchus Hospital. And we welcome you with open arms. We are the last hope of the American dream. Ours is not to destroy corporations, owners, big business. Rather, ours to do what our country was founded on, equality. We ask only for a fair area standard of living wage, health benefits, dignity for ourselves and our families. We ask for the opportunity to give our children what our parents gave to us and theirs to them. The gap between the wealthy and the working class is growing every day. With that, every day that goes by, someone we know is losing their home. They can't pay for medical care for a loved one, losing their own very dignity. Well, we say enough. This country was built on the backs of labor, and together, united, we will not lose our founding father's dream of what America is. In the words of Dwight Eisenhower, only a few would deprive working men and women of the right to join the union of their choice. Remember, brothers and sisters, the fight is now, and it's up to us. The American dream, we will not give up. God bless America, and God bless the unions. Yeah.